Hey guys, welcome back. Here we are with the first album review I'm doing for the month of November. Can't believe that's already here. Uh, but anyways, today I'm going to hop back to 1993 and we'll be looking at Naughty by Nature's uh, 1993. I feel this was an enjoyable album uh, all this time later. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop right into it. This is their third studio album that was released on February 23rd, 1993. The album has a runtime of about 58 minutes and contains three singles. They are Hip Hop Hooray, It's On, and Run On Ya Ken. Production was handled by group member KG, and there was additional production by Sid Reynolds. Guest features include Heavy D, Ron Rascals, Freddy Fox, and Queen Latifah. Now, let's go ahead and hop into some of the tracks. We start the album off with 1993, the title track. I didn't feel it was a bad track, but I wasn't necessarily the biggest fan of the intro upon first listen, mainly because I felt it was too long before the first verse even came in. Uh, but after a few lessons, uh, I seem to enjoy it just a little bit more to have this build up. Uh, anyways, I did enjoy the instrumental when it came in from the intro. Hip Hop Ray is the uh, next track. Uh, the track contains samples of Make Me Say Again Girl Part 1 and 2 by the Eiley Brothers, Don't Change Your Love by Five Stair Steps, He Can't Turn Me Away by Sylvia uh, Shriplin, Funky Present, People It's Bad by James Brown, uh, Sh Shaka Uchi by uh, Emu Systems, Everything's uh, Gonna Be Alright, uh, Gail Bastards, and OPP Live, both by uh, the group, not by nature. I did feel it was an enjoyable track, even with all of these samples uh, being a part of the track. I still feel it goes uh, great all this time later. Lyrically, the group boasts themselves uh, with their love of hip hop and their fascination uh, with good looking women. Daddy Was a Street Corner was an interesting track. The track samples Colorblind by Ice Cube, WC, and Mad Circle, and uh, King T featuring Deadly Threat, Cam, and JD, as well as uh, She's Not There by The Zombies. Uh, the track starts off with a skit, uh, which seems to uh, be a gang fight. I did enjoy the flow and lyrics of this track as well. Hopping down, I'll hit on Not Come Out The uh, Box featuring Ron Rascals. I didn't feel it was a bad track. This is one of the short tracks just clocking in a little over two minutes. I would have liked the track if it were a little longer, but overall I still found it to be entertaining. Sleeping on Jersey was interesting. Queen Latifah was on the course, and uh, my only complaint was I felt when uh, a little too quick uh, for her feature. I just wish it could have been a little bit longer, and uh, I just wish she had her uh, own verse, or at least a little bit something more on the track, uh, as I felt she was, you know, just uh, uh, in and out. Uh, just, again, for the course. But other than that, I didn't feel it was too horrible of a track. 
I'm going to close this out with Sleepwalking 2 shoutouts. I feel it was a decent track to finish off the album, which nearly comes in at 8 minutes. I did enjoy the transition right there in uh, the middle between the two parts of the track. And, uh, you know, of course, the uh, shoutouts. Uh, I feel lyrically that's more or less in a way, uh, how they became well-known and, uh, who was there to help them, as well as, you know, uh, other people in the same boat. My favorite tracks are Hip Hop Hooray, Ready For Them, featuring Heavy D, It's On, and Sleepwalking 2, shoutouts. Today, I'll be giving this album a 4.5 out of 5. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. As usual, feel free to leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Next week, I'll be uh, looking at Fighting Demons by Juice World.